it's an overwhelming thing to stand on stage and see four generations of fans in the audience. What's your name, little girl? What's your name? Shooting me straight, little girl, won't you do the same? Hey everyone, I'm Katie Darrell, and today, ooh, we are hanging out with Ricky Medlock of Leonard Skinner. Now listen to this. Dude, Ricky, this is a big year for Leonard Skinner. You are celebrating the 50th anniversary of your debut album. Time flies when you're having fun, right, man? Absolutely. You know, I look back on it. You know, I've been I've had a go around with Leonard Skinner twice in my life. Um, I was with the guys starting in 71, almost up to the end of 72, uh, recorded record with them, you know, records with them. Uh, came back with Leonard Skinner in 96, and here it is 27 years later, and uh, I've been with the band collectively for about 30 years. And, you know, I, it seems like the blink of an eye. Yeah. Uh, now all of a sudden we're celebrating, you know, uh, the 50th anniversary from the first release. Uh, after 50 years of playing Freebird and Alabama, uh, you know, the band has gone on to do some incredible things. Um, I, I think that this band uh, still to this day is the greatest uh, Southern rock band uh, that's ever lived. Well, um, it, it is, it's a beast. It's a beast unto its own. I mean, listen, I, we, we, I joked about Freebird, but let's be honest. That song is so iconic that you go to any rock show and there's going to be one dude that yells out Freebird at a Metallica, Metallica concert for no reason. I mean, that's how, <laughs> that's how big Leonard Skinner is in the rock and roll culture that you have an, an anthem, an epic tune that people shout at other bands. How does that feel? Well, I, I'll tell you, I'll be really honest with you. It's it's an overwhelming thing to stand on stage mm -hmm. and see four generations of fans in the audience. Yeah. The fans span from eight to 80 now. And I, I have to talk about this big tour that's coming up this this summer. It's, it's a co-headlining tour. Uh, and for those of you watching this interview, and if you are unfamiliar with who the other co-headliner is, let me give you a hint, because the name of the tour is the Sharp Dressed Simple Man Tour. <laughs> oh. when, when you guys figured out that that was going to be the name of the tour and you were going to be co-headlining with ZZ Top, were you all like, yes, this is like peanut butter and jelly. We were meant to be. Well, we have shared the stage many, many times with the great ZZ Top. Yeah. Um, you know, they've been our friends for many, many years. I met, actually met Billy and the guys all the way back in the mid 70s. And uh, when Blackfoot opened for them uh, at the warehouse in New Orleans, when they were doing the record, uh, Fandango, the live side to Fandango. Mm -hmm. So, Billy and I have talked about that several, several times. And uh, you know what? It's going to be fun playing some great iconic music. All right. Well, listen, you, you've known the ZZ Top guys for a, a very long time. Uh, let's see how well you know them. I've got a little ZZ Top trivia for you. All right. Uh oh. Uh, true or false, Billy and Dusty were once offered a million dollars to shave their beards. That's very true. You're right. It is true. All right, all right, fill in the blank. She's got blank and she knows how to use them. Legs. <laughs> all right, and last but not least, we know that ZZ Top is from Texas. When it comes to Texas chili, do they put beans in Texas chili or do they leave the beans out? They leave the beans out. You know your ZZ Top, man, you know it. <laughs> oh my goodness, now, listen. Do you take a moment and, you know, try and sit in the room without other people talking and distracting and just take in the awesomeness that has been in a room like that? Yes, I do. I, I, you know, I, I've got the record, the first and last record, you know, uh, the platinum hanging on my wall, uh, gold and platinum one. And, you know, I look at it sometimes and I go back and think about 
how young we were and, and, and we, we didn't know how to record. We'd never been in a studio. I, I feel very honored by all mm -hmm. that, you know. I feel very honored. I blessed, I feel very blessed and fortunate that I'm sitting here today uh, getting to get, being able to turn 73 years old and being able to look back and think about everything that I've done, uh, the things that I've accomplished. And I really owe it all, first of all, uh, to my parents. Uh, you know, my grandparents, I was raised with them, so they were my mom and dad. I owe it all to them for letting me explore uh, what I really wanted to do. And next, um, I owe it all to the fans. The fans have been great. They've been the best uh, in the world because I, I, I have to shake myself and go, wow, 50 years down the road, uh, who would have ever thought? You know what I mean? So um, I, I, I really feel very, very fortunate about that. When you look at the audience, right? You've gotten to experience it both. Lighters versus cell phones. Which do you like more? Yeah, I'll take lighters any day. You know what I mean? Is Heck there yeah. something? I mean, it, it look. I mean, it's cool to see. It's cool to see twenty five thousand phones. You know, fake, fake flames. Yeah. You know what I mean? But there was always something a glow about a real lighter lighting up, you know, an actual flame. It could be worse, it could be not holding up anything. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, it's gonna be a silly question, but, and I know we've we've talked about Freebird already, so forgive me for kind of going back to it again, but Freebird is, is a very long song. And when you get on stage and jam and rock out, it becomes an even longer song. Has there ever been a time where is there a signal in the band of, hey guys, we need to wrap it up because I need to pee so bad. Like, I need this song to end, you guys. Stop going for 14 minutes. I gotta go. You know what? No. <laughs> I mean, you either hold it or you don't. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think it's about, I think it's about somewhere between 11 and 12 minutes long now. And uh, hey, listen, if it kept going, I got no problems with it. As long as these hands are still able to shred it, I'm, I'm good with it, you know what I mean? And I hope that one day when I cross over the Great Divide, uh, I hope I'm able to see Alan and, and, you know, shake his hand and I hope he tells me, you know, that I've done a great job in, in playing it uh, for the last, you know, 27 years. Gives me a big hug and tells me I did a good job. I hope he doesn't punch me out, but, you know, uh, we'll see. <laughs> Oh man, Ricky Medlock of Leonard Skinner, thank you so much for hanging out today. Uh, you know, you anyone bet. can go and grab tickets to see you guys. You're on a co-headlining tour with ZZ Top. It is the Sharp Dressed Simple Man Tour by Live Nation. Uh, and you are also celebrating the 50th anniversary of the debut album of Leonard Skinner. It's a big year for you guys. Um, rock on, dude. Thanks for hanging out with me. You betcha. Hey there, thanks for watching Access TV. Subscribe, follow, like, and do all the good stuff. And make sure you leave a comment below. I don't know, just let us know what your favorite Access TV show is or who your favorite bands are and what artists you're into or just say hi, man. I'd like to be told hi. We love hearing from you. That's the point, all right? Keep it coming.